What's up guys, Baker here. Got a uh, tutorial about time warp. Not so much a tutorial, but just showing you what it is. In case you never heard of it, which you probably haven't. What it is, is basically a replacement for Twixter. So if, uh, well like, the reason people use Twixter so much is just because it's so easy. You know, just because you're controlling the time with a percent. And like, that's it. No real keyframes or time remapping or anything. And um, After Effects has its own built-in plugin to do the exact same thing. And you know, if you take a look, um, it looks super smooth. It's the, it, the exact same thing. The, you know, the audio gets messed up, just like in Twixter. But it uses uh, the pixel motion frame blending uh, all automatic, and it's pretty sweet. And I just want to show you really quick. You know, 29 frame per second clip. That's when you get the little, uh, the little stop and go effect because it's, you know, 29 frames. That's why you should always record and capture and work with uh, 59. Very nice. But let me just show you really quick how it works. So, <clears throat> you got this clip, right? And I will just go up to effect time. And there's actually a whole bunch of uh, time effects that uh probably never seen and I'll probably do some more tutorials on those later but uh time warp and by default the speed is set to 50 so just bring that back up to 100 and that's all you need really need to worry about there's no frame rate you need to worry about it's just uh you know he shoots right about here and then keyframe speed move over a few seconds keyframe it back down to 3% so there you go and that's it. I mean, there's a whole bunch of other settings, but, you know, I don't really know how to use it. But I'm just showing you, if you <coughs> if you don't have Twixter, or if you have Twixter and you're getting some, lots of problems, if you're getting, like, the X and you don't have the real version, um, After Effects has its own built-in time warp. So go ahead and check that out. And uh, I have a whole bunch of other uh, Twixter tips, how to get rid of, like, Edge uh, warping with the black if you ever see that um, go check out my other tutorials very very helpful um, I'll be showing you some more After Effects secrets pretty soon so if you enjoyed this quick little tip please like the video maybe a favorite maybe a comment and all that stuff and uh, yeah peace guys